Hello everybody. Okay then, I'm, I'm uh, moving on to the next little part of my loco now. Uh, had a couple of hours to spare today so I've just come in to do a, a fairly simple job really. Uh, it's, the, it's the horn keep, got the horn keeps that all the, ho the actual boxes in. Uh, so the, the, the keep, keeper plates fit uh, on the bottom here. When the horn guards are fitted into the frame like that, the keeper plate is going to fit across across the bottom there with a jacking screw in the middle to adjust the suspension and two fixing holes, one on each side. And the material is 5 sixteenths by 5 sixteenths by 2 and 7 eighths long. I've been having a route round my box of steel, and I've just I've just found this piece of the uh, mild steel bar here, flat bar. It's it's five sixteenths wide, so you might think I'm a bit of a masochist here, but I'm going to saw all these out of this. I enjoy sawing. Uh, it does your cardiovascular system good. Well, that's the way I look at it, and that's and then it, I get through it without uh, without any pain, really. Uh, so I've sewn a piece off to length. I've marked it five sixteenths, maybe a fraction above five sixteenths, and I'm going to sew on the on the inside of this line down both sides to give me two pieces that'll be a fraction of about five sixteenths then I'm just going to drop them in in a parallel in my milling machine and skim them up, skim them up true. Right then I'll do a bit of sawing now I've uh, got my material in vice, I've scribed a line on I'm just going to follow that inside of that line down to the bottom now I'm going to saw the other side now and then move over to the milling machine and just skin the face up through. Right, I'm doing them in pairs, there's three pairs to do. Uh, I'm going to use the relative straight edge of the material and I'm resting it on parallels and then I'm going to take a skim across here, across this face I've, I've sawn. Uh, I think I've left about 30 thou on with my sawing. So I'm going to take a few thou off of the top to clean it when it's till, till it's cleaned up and then the rest of the material I'm going to turn it back over and then just skim this rough this rough face up just to tidy everything up. Right, so uh, I've got my dial set at zero now and I think that's the position I'm going to uh, be at for doing the sawn side and then I'll have to just move down a few thou at each time to do the other side. That's one side done. So 
sorry about that noise at over, but I don't like to I like to over things up as I'm doing it. Right, so that's that one done. Just wants D bearing. And I've left I'll tell you in a minute. I've left ten thou on on the other face to, to skim off. So I'll put this one in now, this other one of the pair. On to bottom at uh, just a minute, I'll grab a bit of a, a turn in there or a mill in. Put that one on. Watch your ears, Hoover's coming on. Right, that's skimmed that face up. So I've just got a few thou to take off the other side. To be honest, it it won't actually really matter. I could I could just file other side up if uh, if need be. But being as I've got it in mill and I'll just take a a light cut across. Just got to get rid of that bear. Cover your ears. Debear this one. Right, I want to cut another pair of these, so I've got six of these then, three pairs. I'm going to clean them up, get this uh, surface rust off. Um, what I've got to do then? It's just a matter of marking two holes out, three holes, one, one, one on each side for retaining screws. And then one in the middle, the 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 hole goes the other way. Um, that's for the jacking screw that um, you can adjust the suspension with. Right, so we'll reconvene when I'm ready for drilling. I think I'll cut two Just more of those. Just going to go off the tangent here uh, while I think about it. Going back to sawing, I enjoy sawing. It, it, it gives you a good workout, saves paying any all this money and going to the gym. Anyway, uh, I've got this Sandvik saw, Sandvik 225 made in Sweden. I've, I've had that from my apprentice days, I've had it years, and it served me well. So what I'm trying to get at now is, I bought a, I bought a saw once off of somewhere like Pound, Pound Land or a Pound Shop somewhere, and tried to saw it and what it echoes like, so... In a straight line, no matter what you did, you, you couldn't get it to to to, to work properly. Uh, I can saw within a few thousandths of an inch with this, so it might not. Anybody that's not quite up to scratch with a sawing, well, a it takes a bit of practice and time, and keep doing it, and b if you've not got the proper, if you've not got a good saw, it could be the saw that's holding you back. So. Just a bit of a digression there about my Sandvik 225 saw. 
and that was quite expensive back in the day when I bought it, when I was an apprentice. Back on my workbench now, I've got the keeper plates machined up, machined up all to size, <clears throat> and I've just spent 15 minutes or so marking them all out. And I'm keeping them in sets of two, so that's a set for each each pair of wheels. And uh, <clears throat> before I start to drill them, uh, what I'm doing, I'm marking with, with my uh, with my letter punches and number punches which 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 one they're going to be for. So if there's a slight variation with my holes, um, I know which is which then. And this is where they're going to fit. There's going to be... When my horn guides are fitted in, they'll be drilled and tapped. I'm using M4 screws for them. And then the keeper plate will go on the bottom. Like that. So, I'm just about to drill them. I've, uh, I've spotted them all with a 16th drill. Just really... All that does is make make a bigger centre punch mark for your drill to pick up on. So they're all spotted now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drill them. And I've got two holes two holes to drill, one on each side, and then on the up opposite side, there's one hole to drill in the centre, and that's for the jacking screw, which will be two ba. So I'm just about to drill them now. Just got to tap the centre hole 2BA now. Right, that's one set done. I'm continue now with other two sets, and then we'll uh, we'll have another look at drawing when I finish that. Right, got all my uh, my keepers now uh, drilled and tapped. They're all marked up for the relevant slot. For example, L1 and R1 and so on. They're the bolts fitted, 2BA bolts. They will act as um, adjustments for suspension. And uh, when my horn guides are fitted, that's going to be one of my next jobs, I think. 
I've got to, once the horn guides are fitted, I can then spot the holes through and drill and tap them, uh, I think it's M4 I'm doing them. So I can't drill and tap them until I've got them actually fitted so I know uh, where the holes are going to line up. While I was doing this, I've cut the angle for the um, suspension brackets that fit above the uh, axle box here where the, sh where the spring locates. And they're fastened in these top three holes here in the, in the loco on the side frames. On the inside they'll be fastened on like that. Uh, like that I think. And then the springs will come up to this and locate and the axle box with the spring in the middle like so. So basically that will be fitting just above there like that, but that way on obviously. So there me uh, keeper plates finished and my suspension brackets. I've not drilled my suspension brackets yet because I've got to I've got to uh, transfer the holes off, off the frame and then I've got to transfer the location points off the whole, off the uh, axle boxes to pick to pick up where I've where I've got to drill it on this side. Uh, then. So I've got all my own guards ready, all my stretches are ready. I'm I'm just about ready, I think, for starting to assemble the frame uh, and the chassis now. I have got a few minor adjustments to do to the uh, buffer plates yet. And uh, just a, a modification on frame on this end. Uh, so, yeah. I think that's it for this little part then. So, I'll sign off for now then. And uh, if you've not seen my other videos of me doing my boiler, I made that from scratch and, and all fittings and everything. They're all on separate videos if you're interested. Uh, so, I'll sign off for now then and uh, catch you on my next video. Bye for now then.